Now, let's see the various symptoms to the occurrence of fault. The fault symptoms occurs in the display of the drive motor. First, let's see the fault symptoms in the display of the drive. Fault must have been occurred when there is no display in the LCP. Intermittent display in the LCP. No display. The LCP provides two display indications by means of the backlit LCP display. Three LED indicators lights near the bottom of the LCP. If the green power on LED is illuminated but the backlit display is dark, this indicates that the LCP itself is defective and must be replaced. It should be certain that the display is completely dark. An error code exists in the FC automation drive which indicates that communications may have failed with the control card. For faults resulting in an error code, please contact the Danfoss Drives hotline service on 4574886100 or mail to hotline at danfoss.com. This is typically seen when a serial bus communication option has been installed in the drive and is either not connected properly or is malfunctioning. If neither indication is available, then the source of the problem may be elsewhere. Intermittent display Cutting out or flashing of the entire display and power LED indicates that the power supply, SMPS, is shutting down as a result of being overloaded. This may be due to improper control wiring or a fault within the drive itself. The first step is to rule out the problem in the control wiring. To do this, disconnect all control wiring by unplugging the control terminal blocks from the control card. If the display stays lit, then the problem is in the control wiring. All control wiring should be checked for shorts or incorrect connections. If the display continues to cut out, the fault can be located in either the LCP itself or on the power or SMPS card. Next, let's see the fault symptoms in the motor. Let's consider a situation where the motor will not run. When this symptom is detected, first you have to verify that the unit is properly powered up and there is no warning or alarm message is displayed. The most common cause of this is either incorrect control logic or an incorrectly programmed drive. Such occurrences will result in one or more of the following status messages being displayed. LCP stop. The LCP stop message is displayed when the off key has been pressed. The bottom section of the display will also be flashing when this occurs. Standby. The standby message is displayed when there is no start signal at terminal 18. Ensure that a start command is present at terminal 18. Unit ready. The unit ready message is displayed when the terminal 27 is low. No signal. Ensure that terminal 27 is logic 1. Run OK, 0 Hz. The Run OK status display indicates that a run command has been given to the drive, but the reference speed command is 0 or missing. Check the control wiring to ensure that a proper reference signal is present at the drive input terminals and that the unit is properly programmed to accept the signal provided. Stop. The stop message in the display indicates that one of the digital input terminals, 18, 19, 27, 29, 32, 33, is programmed for stop inverse in parameters 5, 10, 
511, 512, 513, 514, or 515, and the corresponding terminal is low. Logic 0. Now, let's go in for a quick check of your understanding before we conclude. That's correct. Cutting out or flashing of the entire display and power LED indicates that the power supply, SMPS, is shutting down as a result of being overloaded. That's correct. The standby status message indicates that there is no start signal at terminal 18. With this, we have come to the end of this module. I hope you would have got idea on tips to troubleshooting and the fault symptoms in the display of the drive and the motor.